Hello my little butterflies and today I'm going to be reviewing Glass by Ellen Hopkins. Okay you guys, so this book is really good. This is the second book in her Crank series, which is, these are poetry books. And it was so very, very, very good. Okay, now I think, because I forgot to write my ratings down, I'm pretty sure I get this a 4 out of 5 stars. This is the second book and as you know in Crank we follow Christina who, um, she got addicted to meth and... It follows her journey through her ups and her downs, dealing with this extra person that she feels that is in. Thank you, Claire, for your input. Um, <laughs> we follow Christina, who is going through her ups and her downs with dealing with um, her addiction to meth, dealing with this extra person that she feels is inside of her head. You know that she feels like she has a another person inside of her. She has another personality pretty much inside her that comes out when she's high or when she really really wants to get high. And that and we continue to follow her story in Glass. Now with Glass, I was more enraged in Glass. And I was very sympathetic and crank with her. I felt really bad for her. I just I felt for her. In this one I was more pissed off with her. I gave it a four out of five stars because the book was good. It's not it's not I, I didn't like the book. It's her character. I was really pissed off with her. She like really like just her attitude, her nasty attitude that she had with other people who were helping her. Not people who were trying to, people who were helping her. Um, her just I don't give a fuck attitude that she had about herself. That she didn't care about herself. Really pissed me off. Because I know a lot of people say you can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. And in this book, Christina really presented herself like she didn't want to help herself. That she felt like, you know, the drugs were... She was fine. That she can do good with the drugs. It was okay. That's how I felt that it went with her. And I was just really, 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 really pissed off with her. Just her neglection attitude she had toward her child. It was just like, well, oh well, fuck it, you know. You, you'll be okay, you know. Your, your grandparents will take care of you or I go get high. And I just, I, I, I know personally, I don't think I could just, I could just leave my child to be raised by someone else where I'm selfishly just doing drugs that I know can kill me any minute. Now, I, I'm pretty sure, I know people with addictions really do go through this, like that. that's their real struggle. I would know, I've never been addicted to drugs, but I know me as a parent right now, I could. I don't think I could do it. But I guess that all changes when you're addicted to something. And so, I was more pissed off in this book. I don't know if I want to read the last book in this series or not, because it, apparently Christina um, ends up having uh, two more children, so she ends up with three kids, and it follows their and it follows their life and their struggles with the legacy that their mother left them but i feel like i don't want to read that because to me that's saying that just because your parent has a problem that means you're going to inherit that problem that's to me like saying drug addiction is a genetic it's genetic you can't get away from it and i don't like how people try to make that seem even though I know there is a high possibility that, that you know, you have a family member that's addicted to drugs or, you know, you could possibly get it. But to me, I'm like, they weren't really around her to see her with the drugs. So it's like they weren't really exposed with her, not to where they could remember. So it's like, how can you say that now, yeah, they, they're, they have the drug problem too because their mother had it. That's like saying because you're father is a rapist you're going to be a rapist or because your mother was a murderer you're going to be a murderer it's genetic and i don't like how people try to make this thing. so i don't know if i want to read the last book i'm kind of content where i am with this one and if i read the last one i might not like it because of that because i don't like how you, you see what i'm saying you can't make a, a, a you can't make drug addiction a genetic means you know how many people in jail if that was something that you know that the government would try to pursue you know how many people in jail would claim that um you know it's, it's a genetic it's genetic it's in my family being a drug dealer is genetic now you know you can pretty much make a a, a case out of the, anything now that is genetic so yeah i'm kind of content with staying right here with glass i don't think i want to read the last one i'm not sure what do you guys think because i don't think i want to i think i'm really content with how the story ends off here i'm not i'm not really itching to read the last one but i do want to read the first book in her other series i think it's impulse impulse i think it's the first book in her next series because that follows like a whole different character set it's, it's completely different so i think i want to read that one but I'm, I'm not sure if i want to read the last book in this series which i think is fallout but i'm, I'm not sure if i want to get that one. but 
yeah, I get a four out of five stars. I do recommend this one, as, but I, I, I'm telling you, if you read the first book, you know, if you're going to come and read this one, you're, gonna, you're probably going to be pissed off with Christine. I don't know. Maybe I'm just having strong feelings toward it, but I know I, I was very pissed off with her character. So just a heads up on that. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.